Hey guys, my name is Ravish and welcome back to another video in the series of Let's Talk DevOps. So in today's video, we are going to talk about one of the very important thing, one of the most important things that uh, people ask me and I have seen this question floating around that how to prepare for DevOps or an SRE or a production engineer interviews. Okay, so I'm going to lay down nine points today. I'm going to talk about nine points today that you should always have, you should master before you go for a devops in an engineer interview okay so uh, stay tuned till the end of the video and also if you're new over here kindly subscribe the channel because it supports me it actually supports me to create more content like this okay so without further ado let's get started okay so the first and the foremost thing that you need to know is know your resume. You should know whatever you have written in your resume. If it's a one page, it's a two page or three page resume. Don't make more than three pages. But if it's one or two page resume, you should know each and every line that what you have written and what you have done. If you have worked for two companies, three companies or four companies, make sure that everything that you have written in your resume depicts your knowledge. If you are out of knowledge and you have written something, for example, if you have written uh, something related to DevOps, let's say Kubernetes or uh, any, any other tool like Ansible or something or Terraform, and they're going to ask you question based on that because you have written in your resume. I know it may sound trivial, but the idea here is simple. Be ready. Just be ready to answer any question that is written in your resume and anything that you include in your resume, it would be a uh, it would it, it can be asked because I have seen personally those interviews in which people has asked me uh, anything that I have written that how you have done this even in 2013 2014 when I used to give interviews I have whatever I have written in the resume they have asked me that so uh, sometimes uh, candidates are surprised that when they are asked on a skill or or, a, or any line that is related to the resume and they are not able to answer that so that can happen so simple truth is that just make sure that Everything that you write in your resume is true. You have already done and you are ready to answer that. So that's the first thing that you need to know that know your resume. Okay. So the next thing that I'm going to talk about is sample interview questions. So sample inter que interview questions means that have you ever noted out any question? Have you ever followed any website? Have you ever gone through the interviews over YouTube or any other, any other website for that matter that what can be the question that can be asked in an interview? Now, uh, over my experience, like I have seen a lot of interviews, I have given a lot of interviews, taken a lot of interviews. I think DevOps is kind of all over the place, all over the place in the sense uh, people can ask from networking, people can ask from tools, people can ask from their experience, sample questions in terms of real time scenarios. People can ask from anywhere. DevOps is huge. And when you mix cloud with it, DevOps and cloud, it becomes it, it becomes far more huge. So uh, that's one thing that make a sample list of uh, interview questions on various topics uh, like uh, technical interviews uh, depending on the company role and try to answer them and see if you can manage to answer them in a like detailed way or a fluent way in a simple and a lucid language or what you can do is you can uh, uh, make sure that uh, if uh, you can if you are any anyhow doubtful that uh, whatever you are uh, studying or you are doubtful that whatever uh, questions can be asked go through uh, a few websites like glassdoor fishbowl over there there are a lot of people over there and then uh, post the question over there that okay this is the question that can be asked or what are the questions that can be asked people will generally help or you can post it on linkedin there are multiple uh, communities on linkedin where you can uh, ask for sample interview questions and i am quite sure that uh, that there are multiple links through which you can go through i have a few uh, uh, links uh, which I'll uh, comment down in the section I'll just uh, with uh, with the description of this video I'll just place them so that you can uh, go through the sample interview question so that would be one uh, second thing that I'm going uh, I'm talking about so the third thing the most important point in whole of this video is know your operating system and when we talk about operating system I have already said this in multiple videos that 80 to 90 percent of the servers on in, in the world in, in in devops world is linux so every devops engineer should have a, a deep understanding of whatever os they are working on and if you have an option to choose make sure that you choose linux linux is free of cost you can find it on osboxes.org i have given courses over here through which you can download and install stuff in uh, oracle virtualbox 
because 90 percent of the devops job posting does have uh, this this requirement in which they ask for linux i'm uh, if you are working on windows environment make sure that you can uh, do some hands-on and practice on that so that it would be much more easier for you to answer questions in the interview uh, usually uh, uh, people can ask that how extensive should my knowledge be on on devops because out of devops skills i would say this that along with coding uh, you should be uh, you should be very much stronger in in, in the OSS and Linux is one of those. Uh, be familiar with the debugging tools, uh, be familiar with the OSS processes, how networking happens inside it. Uh, if you talk about cloud, then VPC ID, uh, something like that, uh, what how it ha happens and how it works for an EC2 machine. And if you're in Azure, then how it works on VM, uh, kind of related to that, the file system and you should know the operating system, okay? so. Uh, I will list down anything else if uh, in the description if if there is anything that I can help you with uh, with the resources that you can learn Linux or at least uh, maybe over the course of one or two months I will introduce a course in which uh, I'll start Linux from the very basics but there are uh, there, there is a plethora of courses available on the YouTube and uh, on the other websites as well so you can go there uh, you need not to wait for me okay so that's the third thing and the one of the most important thing that know your OS and if you get a chance uh, make sure that you select a Linux of, out of that okay okay the next thing that I'm going to talk about is your scripting skills or your programming skills see my personal belief is any DevOps engineer should know scripting or at least one programming languages because having this skill will help you automate stuff and there are there are multiple uh, of multiple manual processes mundane tasks that you can automate with one kind of uh, programming language or from scripting and uh, you can automate manual processes that what uh, I believe in and improve some of the open source tool that you are using today to build uh, new tools or you can uh, automate stuff to provide more flexible solutions uh, to, to your company to your project and I am 100% sure that you should learn this line that knowing how to code knowing how to script equal to a lot of power i mean if you know how to code if you know how to write a proper script then it would help you a lot in this devops world now people can say that uh, why do i need uh, some kind of coding why do i need some kind of uh, a uh, scripting uh, when when i'm in devops world so that's not the case because uh, when it comes to interviews uh, you'll notice that the level of knowledge uh, very much depends on the company or the position you're interviewing for so some will require uh, just to be able to write simple script some will require to write uh, a typical script or some kind of programming uh, I've seen as per my experience that there are not of lot uh, uh, they, they don't ask for a lot of complex algorithms or some kind of DSA uh, or data structures in DevOps interview but I've heard that a few companies uh, when they uh, when they're looking for an SRE uh, a site reliability engineer they do ask a bit of complex algorithms so it's not like deep diving into a developer level but you should know at least basic skills that uh, how to how to write a program how to write a script so uh, pick just pick one language just pick one scripting language and if you ask me which one i should tell if you are very new very new you cannot understand and you are just starting start from batch scripting that's uh, available on my uh, this channel uh, there is a whole course for that you can uh, you can learn from that but if you are a bit advanced and you are able to make logics then pick uh, shell scripting because as i said that linux is very important and you need uh that there you 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 need uh this shell scripting for that or bash programming for that you can automate through python as well a lot of other things as well but uh i, I would say that shell scripting would just add one feather to your hat so uh this is the this is the point that i want to discuss about that programming or scripting is very much necessary in devops or in sre world so the next thing that i am uh, going to talk about is the designing skills designing skill in the sense uh, tomorrow what can happen is uh, if you hired as a devops engineer maybe two years experience three years experience uh, that should not matter much but they'll give you a problem to solve so problem to solve in the sense they might give you just a project which might be written on any language java c sharp node.js or python or anything you should know how to design a pipeline design in the sense even if you do not know the tool you should have an idea of how things should go from very first step till the production there would be multiple steps involved in that like testing uh, security part uh, uh, making an artifact out of it sonar cube integration check marks integration that's there's a plethora of tools available for that but you should know at least how to design a pipeline from the first step of checking out the code till the production if i take interviews uh, i will ask this step that how would you do that because 
that's the that's one of the product life cycle that you need to know that's one of the major uh, minimum requirement to know that if you are a devops engineer you should know that how would you deploy your product how would you create your product how would you create an artifact out of it and what kind of languages you have worked on so this is one of the most important thing that you should know that uh, how to uh, how to design any kind of pipeline so this is a uh, design any kind of pipeline or design any kind of uh, let's say solution through which you can go till production from the first step of checking out the code till the production okay so this is the one skill that you need to know another thing that uh, i wanted to talk about is you should know how to define your project now what happens is uh, this is not applicable to people who are as a freshers and if they get a chance to uh, work in some kind of company through as a fresher it's great this is more likely happen to with people who have some kind of experience so sometimes a question does not start with uh, explain uh, uh, give me a solution of this problem the question starts like this explain the project that you are working on explain the stuff that you have done in your company in the past 6 months in the past one year and what you have been doing till date for example if i take an interview i will ask the person that what you have been doing in your company what is your roles and responsibilities so he will he or she will uh, give me an idea okay this is what i do and this is how it happens the next the very next question i would ask is explain me the life cycle of your project so if he is faking if he is he has not done anything he would uh, face a lot of challenges in explaining me the project and then on that basis of uh, on the basis of his idea on the basis of his whatever he is projecting me that this is what i have done i will counter question okay so if you have used 10 steps in your pipeline what you were using uh, to take care of the security part uh, what for the code vulnerability part code smell part and what what you are doing for code coverage how you are, are you using any kind of j unit n unit uh, cucumber test or anything i will ask cross, cross question on that if he answers that that means he has worked on the project and that means that he has done something in that uh, in that part so uh, this is something that i wanted to discuss uh, you should you should be able to explain the project you have been working on and you should be quite confident in that because the cross question uh, will happen if you will explain that this is what i have done so cross questioning will happen so this is one point that you need to remember the next thing the next point that i wanted to discuss is you should start your own devops project now uh, this is more applicable to someone who hasn't worked uh, in devops some kind of a, a fresher or who has just passed out from the college this is applicable to uh, more to that person but if you are into some kind of role which is uh, kind of like you do not like it like if you are a business analyst uh, i'm i'm sorry i'm not here to demean any profession i'm just saying that if you want to switch your uh, interest from the current job to the uh, to the devops part this is uh, one thing that you should start your own devops project okay so uh, you can just follow the phoenix project that is available on the internet uh, there is a whole repository for that you can go for that and uh, how that helps you so uh, there are few things that i would like to tell you that how that helps you first uh, you will start writing scripts uh, you will start the coding part because uh, that's that's one of the most important points uh, that i have told uh, in this video uh, it is something that you can add to your uh, cv or your resume because uh, when the interviewer will ask you the question that what you have done as a project then you would be able to explain okay this is something that what we have done make sure that you have a github repository for that to show okay this is what i have done so if you want to flex on that you can flex on that that i have done four projects i have done three projects in that if you're looking for a devops project a real time project i also have a devops project on this internet sorry on this channel you can uh, go through uh, go through my library and there are particular playlist for that you can start from one so that's one thing and it actually teaches you a lot it actually teaches you the real time scenarios that happens and how do you face an issue how do you google that issue how do you fix that issue and multiple thing that it teach, teaches you and it, it depends on the size and the complexity as well that it can teach you something about design in general which is the one point which i talked about okay so this is one point that i wanted to talk about and you should start your own devops project all right another good point uh, to be successful in devops and sr interviews is a uh, networking okay this is one thing that a lot of people do not talk about and networking in the sense do not be a sit at home uh, kind of a person who doesn't go out and do not kind any kind of networking or that meet people attend technical meetups uh, attend attend technical conferences uh, and if you're not able to go outside just attend them online just take a look at youtube there, there's gold mine on on youtube where you can go and search for some kind of meetups that has happened some a few people have 
put their recordings over there and i'm not saying that you should start with it uh, i'm saying that you should start building your networking if you can build your networking on the uh, on linkedin that's also a, a good starter why because what happens is when you follow a person who is in the same field when you go to the community which is of same kind it helps you a lot in going forward for example i'm a part of five six communities on linkedin i have been contributing a bit uh, as as much as i can to that community but there are a lot of people there i think on daily basis a few people share their ideas uh, what are they doing and there are communities on reddit as well you, where you can go check out devops coming uh, devops uh, subreddit there are people who are putting their ideas there are people who are doing something good something big and putting it over there and they are telling that this is how i have done so you can connect with them you can connect with them on linkedin you can follow them and then uh, you can increase your networking just put them a message you do, it can be quite awkward at the, at the start but you can uh, send a request to them on linkedin and uh, add a note with that like uh, i have seen this uh, post of yours and i'm very much interested and i'm very much happy to see this is something like this and uh, i would be interested in joining your network and i would uh, love talking to you a lot of people do accept uh, a request uh, uh, like this and then uh, they can help you and you can follow them how they uh, how they uh, Uh, share stuff so that's that's one thing you can do and doing so can give you a lot of information on what to expect from an interview at some companies on how to uh, better prepare and uh, what are the type of questions people can ask and there is there are multiple things that's happening in the devops world it happens every day software changes every day so networking is one of those thing that can help you a lot in your interview so the last point uh, of this video is this is my i've learned from a personal experience that just not study do hands on how this is some kind of related to starting the devops project but uh, the thing is if you are not even writing your own devops project or you are not starting it if you are doing any kind of course from any website like plural site uh, udemy coursera or youtube for that matter do hands on do not just see the video do not like uh, do not be do you sh- you shouldn't be doing that uh, like okay i have watched the video i'm not doing any ki- any kinds of hands on make sure that whatever video you have searched on you are going step by step whatever he is doing and the correct way to do it or maybe the way i am doing i am doing it is like if it's a 5 minute video i'll watch the video completely let it happen let it end uh, and i stay till the end now what i do is i play it again and then afterwards i start doing it how this happens uh, how this works out i'll give you a scenario So what happens sometimes if you are doing something on shell scripting and you want to install stuff what happens is you say okay he's uh, installing stuff so what i'll do i'll just pause down the video i'll go to my system i'll install stuff and then you'll face some error and then you'll start wasting your time over there but one thing can happen that he has already talked about that problem in the video further but you have not moved further because you are busy doing in in your system so that's one thing can save you a lot of time so this is one thing that complete the video first and do not do fast forward like this tak 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 and do not do not go fast forward like this because i don't think that's a good habit and if your attention span is low make sure that you do not do that i mean that's that's a bad practice so the video goes like this let it complete the 5 minute video 10 minute video even if it's 10 minute 10 minutes video because you are here to learn you are not doing some kind of rush over here it's it's a long process so uh, just wait for the video to end and see what he has done contemplate If you are okay about it, write down on a paper. If you have not understand it, understood it, play it completely again, and then start your work on your hands on. So hands on is the last thing that I wanted to add. Also, I would like to talk about Ari Bragman because uh, the points that I have discussed over here is is taken is inspired from uh, his texts, whatever he has updated uh, on his uh, GitHub channel or on his Dev dot two channel. Uh, So uh, if you want to go there I'll just link down in the description and you can just click on it and you can go there and you would be able to understand that I have taken from there. Okay so full credits to him and props to him. So uh, I hope you guys have like uh, understood everything that I've talked about in this video. These are the nine points that I wanted to talk about and I hope uh, this will be very much beneficial for you if you want to go for a devops or an SRV interview. And show some love on this video or uh, do hit the subscribe button, hit the like button as well because it motivates me to create content like this and do Uh, share the video among your friends whom you think you can help okay so uh, i hope you have understood everything and if there is anything feel free to comment below and we will uh, i read all my comments and we will address that so thanks guys and i'll see you in the next one